Hi everyone, happy Painting Friday. Thanks for joining me again, as always. This is my favorite time of the week. I really look forward to coming on here and sharing with everyone. Um, if you guys don't remember this one, if it's an older video, feel free to go back and watch it for sure. Um, I started this piece as a um, something to reflect for myself on being open, open to new experiences, conversations, possibilities, things like that. Um, so as I'm getting started here, I will start to talk about a um, being open to a kind of new exper experience. I mean, I've been to the Field Museum before, um, but I haven't been in a while. And um, they had a a free for Illinois residents um, day yesterday. So I went over to the Field Museum, kind of just wanting to explore um, the. Uh, watching the blue, blue, blue world, oh gosh, I'm blank, blanking on the name of it, the, uh, the ocean show, blue world, um, has kind of gotten me in a sciencey ocean type mood, um, so I thought going to the field museum would be fun, um, exploring different things, it's always cool, most museums it's like you, you end up getting something out of it, learning something new exploring something different that you maybe didn't quite expect. Um, so I went to the, the area that was about conservation. Um, they're talking about, you know, different areas like in tropical areas, um, places like Costa Rica where they're very active in preserving the, the ecosystem there, the, the animals and plants and things like that. But um, there was a whole section on plants and animals from Illinois, which um, I think most of you know that I'm in Chicago, if you aren't actually in Chicago with me. Hi everyone that is. I hope you're enjoying this beautiful summer day. Um, but it was really interesting to check out that whole section on Illinois because it was, partly I didn't grow up here so I didn't get quite as much of the uh, the history of Illinois and the ecosystem and stuff. I grew up in Colorado. Hi Colorado people. Um, but it's really interesting um, to see, to remember that, it, especially because we get used to being in the city and it being lots of buildings and cement and human made things. Um, it's easy to forget that Right outside of the city is a lot of, there's still a lot of wetlands and prairie and natural areas that um, have been impacted by city growth and humans in general. And, um, places like the Field Museum have been so cool because they have been documenting these plants and animals for a hundred years. Um, so they have this amazing history that they can reference this. Um, backlog of them, in data in animals and they've, they've got all kinds of, if you're into it, really cool specimens, birds and butterflies and all kinds of cool stuff there on display if you want to see it. But what really uh, jumped out at me was when I was reading about these different plants and animals, the fact that they've been collecting these, these, uh, Samples. I don't know. I feel weird calling a bird a sample. Specimens um, for over a hundred years means that they're able to look back and see the impact of specific things. Um, they were able to look at these really cute little frogs and see the effects of uh, pesticides on them, where they could measure. I don't know if I'd say almost exactly, but they could distinctly see when the pesticides started impacting those frogs and they weren't able to reproduce anymore and able to then very clearly understand the cause and how it was affecting these little frogs. And then they're able to, to do something about it, to take action because they understand why, why it happened at all. So the reason I was chatting about all of this 
is because it reminded me that to be able to see the impact we had, to see the, I don't know if you call it damage, it's just a little judgmental, but to see the damage we've done, we have to be willing to look at that. We have to be willing to look at the bad, the negative, the, the places where maybe we really messed up and be willing to, to be open to it because you can't really address or change or even just acknowledge and accept certain things if you aren't willing to, to look at them. And believe me, I understand that one. I don't like looking at things I'm not good at. That's no fun. Um, or that I've messed up on, mistakes. But, but when you're willing to, it really helps you see the fact that the bad things end up almost being the gift. Not that hurting these poor little frogs is a good thing, but what we could get out of it is, who knows if we would have even really paid attention to these little frogs and the things that either we were or were not doing to them. If one, we hadn't been tracking them, documenting them, so very cool, all you scientists. Um, and then taking the time to look at the, the damage we did, look at the effect that we had on them to really understand what we did so that we can correct, which I think that's something that's very common that we can definitely take from in our own experiences, being open to the fact that like, I might have messed up on something. I might have made that mistake, but if I don't acknowledge it, if I don't see what I did, the impact or, or the way that it's affecting me or or how to course correct that. Like how do you ever, you know, grow and change? And I'm pretty sure most of us want to keep growing. And so part of, part of that being open to that experience, the openness to say, there's probably some flaws in here. I probably did mess up on something. I probably, or, you know, just growing and learning. Or the things that are hard in life that may not even have been your fault, but, you know, no one really likes to, to dwell on that kind of thing. But that usually ends up being the gift that you actually need is to stop and pay attention to it. Pay attention to the impact. So like we couldn't really help those little frogs until we took the time to look at what was happening to them, how we were affecting them, how we were impacting them. And also to uh, to pay attention to it can help you understand like what, what's the thing that's needed most to really understand that. How do you start to make a change? Being open to the change, you gotta be open to the to the negative, the bad, the possibility that something might be. not something you're, you know, super happy with or, or maybe you're a little embarrassed to admit or not. Maybe it's just a, uh, you think people are going to judge you for it kind of thing. Everyone makes mistakes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And I know that's easier, way easier to say than to actually <laughs> like acknowledge and appreciate and <laughs> forgive yourself even. See, that's the thing too, like with these scientists, I... I don't know any of them personally, but my guess is they weren't looking at it and going, oh, those jerks from the past, look what they did to these poor frogs. I'm sure they were just like, that's just, that's just what happened. And how do we move forward from that? How do we move on from that? How do we figure out how to learn from it and grow? But yeah, I, I'm sure they had to be open to the fact that like, we may not like 
what we've done in the past, our own history that we've inherited, but how do you move forward? How do you make that change anyway? And so I guess a little bit of forgiveness in that way. It's like, there's no point in hanging on to what it was. But you can learn from it. Learn from the changes from the, the reason that it came up in the first place. Really being able to understand, like, in the frogs' case, like, what impacted the frogs? Like, why, why were they affected in that way? Being able to look at that negative impact with maybe a little less bias. painting with a slightly dry brush and it gets a little sticky, especially in this warm summer days. And so it tends to pull my canvas around a little bit. But I do like that, that effect. It does this like very dusty edge type thing and it makes it very fun. I like adding that depth. Reminds me a little bit of bird wings and butterfly. butterfly wings and things like that that I was checking out while I was at the museum. That was fun. They're beautiful, man. It's cool how much, how much variety and depth there is in nature. So back to keeping myself open, keeping this painting open. Movement, depth. Try to keep it more airy. First time around, it got pretty colorful, which was awesome, and it's coming through. You can see parts of it where, where the richness and the color is still there. But then adding some of this white, airy. And on and off a little, the little birds and the wildlife habitats that they're trying to save. I don't know, maybe there's something in your own current events that is maybe not something you're super excited to be uh, looking at, to being open to, but maybe you could look at it almost like a science experiment, scientific endeavor, to be able to say, I can measure this almost, not in a detached way, but in an objective way of how can we move forward? How can I accept that it was this way and that's all right, but where do we want to go from here? How do we want to make changes? In the case of the little frogs, like how do we want to make sure that they keep living in their ecosystem that they were naturally part of, that maybe we impacted? But I think we are just as powerful too impact things positively as we are negative, negatively. I like bringing in a little bit of natural, some looseness. I like keeping things loose, adding some uh, softness. I like the way the uh, paint likes to flow. And sometimes that can kind of almost like wash a little bit of that off and you can see underneath it again. It's pretty cool. Get down over here a little bit. Thank <laughs> you.
I do like trying things like this. It's like, oh, nope, it didn't feel like working today. Or maybe it will. Maybe something really cool will come out of it. It's always kind of fun to see what happens. I might come back in once it's dry and try again with a pencil. Because I'm liking right here where it's coming out. Yeah. Got my little guy. Got some motion. I like openness and expansiveness. Definitely has a lot of motion to it. Yeah, I like how when I started this, I kind of was going with one thought on openness. And now when I look at it, I'm going to kind of think about the, the little birds that they're trying to preserve. When the uh, cute little frogs. It's going to remind me of that now, too. The fact that we had to address our mistakes before we could uh, see where we need to make a change. So, happy Friday everyone. I hope you're uh, enjoying your beautiful day. Get old Bob Ross on here and uh, talk about all the happy trees and summer. Happy little birds. I'm hoping the awesome work those scientists are doing There'll be more happy little birds out there. <laughs> so, just adding some uh, interesting little guys, some texture. Okay. I was using a big brush to kind of add these uh, big broad areas with that dry, dry technique and now I'm using just a little guy to add a little bit extra. They remind me of, uh, I'll probably end up sharing at some point, there was this butterfly that had these beautiful little specks of this pink. They're just amazing. And it's kind of fun to see how the paint plays with the water. Some interesting stuff to it. All right, that's it. I think for layer two of openness, of being open, of thinking about how we can be open to maybe negative events or things that maybe we made a mistake on or things we just don't like about current situations or whatever. Being open to it because I think until you see it, it's kind of like until they saw the documentation of the frogs being hurt by environmental factors or you know chemicals and stuff like that they weren't really able to do anything about that make change make positive change to be able to see what the thing is that they needed to make change or how they needed to change they needed to be able to see where they were where they've been where where these frogs naturally were in the past and how they were being affected. Being able to look at that objectively so that they could start to make changes to policy, to the environment, things like that. So thanks everyone. Have a good Friday.